Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome back to Sky Factory. So we have quite a bit of grinding has been done in between episodes and I have gotten over a stack of dirt after sieving a huge amount. And I think we're going to use this dirt to go out and build a little pad for our stone generation so that we don't even have to worry about it. So the idea that I have here is we're just going to go out a little bit away from the main island here with dirt. And I'm not sure how far lava will spread fire, but uh, I'm going to say that is probably enough. So now what we need to do is we're going to have to make a little bit of a space here to work on and of course this is just you know killer on the fingers but I guess so that should be good for that I'm gonna drop a torch here just to make sure that nothing spawns and then we are going to put our birch fences along here so that we don't have any fear of falling off it's always a good thing So we'll get this out here, and then I think what I'm going to do, I don't think that the fences will burn. So I'm going to go ahead and put them out. Well, I guess we ran out of fences anyway. So I don't think that they burn, though, but what I want to do now is we're going to place a little bit of dirt here. And that. Then we're going to need some dirt up here and then quite a bit more here and i think we also need some more over here so yeah i know i'm using way more dirt than i need to but it doesn't really matter because well, we're going to be getting it all back here really soon so now i'm going to put that block there for now and we want that block right there Okay, so now we have that put together. Let's go ahead and grab our iron that we smelted in the last episode. We're going to make ourselves a bucket. And we're going to grab our lava and place this down over here. So we're going to put the lava on this side. Now we're going to quickly get over here and grab a bucket of water. And this will make cobblestone so I made myself a stone pickaxe this is how we're gonna be grabbing our stuff and actually we should probably use a hammer as well I'm gonna use the pickaxe here at first Ooh, that's not what I wanted to have happen okay well you know what we're just gonna place this cobblestone back in there so I think I have the liquids backwards. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take the water back over here. And we need to place some torches out here because obviously that didn't work out too good. So we're going to grab this back out. Get that off of the hot bar so that we don't have to worry about accidentally burning ourselves going to remove that cobblestone as well and then we're going to need to place one here okay so now let's try this again but this time we need the water first hmm can we put the lava back in there no we can't ah! no water 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 oh god give me that back damn it Woo, that was close to death eat 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 please oh god that was not good at all wow okay oh. man my heart's racing right now I was not wanting to have to 
call the series over after one and a fraction episodes. So what the heck are we going to do with this lava? Um, I have an idea. We will take it and put it right here and let it flow down into the void. That will work just fine. Now we're going to grab our water. <clears throat> and the water goes here. And then the lava needs to be removed. We need to place a block of dirt back under there. And then we need to place our lava down here and cobblestone. Okay, so we'll break this one, we'll break this one. And so now we are gathering cobblestone. Of course, this is going to be a pretty boring process. I'm going to have to gather quite a bit of it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get tons of cobblestone for making tools here. And then I'm going to be using hammers. Oh, oh eh, no, 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 no. So we still haven't gotten any of it. But so the hammers give us gravel. Now, what I want to do today, gravel is important. So um, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Let's see. Actually, I think we can place wood down here. And that will probably work just fine. Um, here, we'll do it this way. So this should work out OK. If I can get up there, there we go. So not a hoe. Yeah, that should work out just fine. So I am going to gather up tons of resources here, and then I'll be back and we can look at uh, some of the things that I have found. So finally, I have collected up enough iron to be able to make a hopper. So I'm gonna make our hopper here. We're going and it looked like we had mini chests, don't we? Yes, we do. But uh, the hopper here will greatly improve the efficiency of our mining operation here. So that is not where I wanted you. You go there. And so now what we need to do is place this hopper pointing into the chest. And this should now gather every bit of everything that is mined. So the problem that I've been having is, of course, materials going into the lava. So now we should not have that problem anymore. They should immediately go into the hopper. So once again, I'm going to be back to mining for quite some time. And uh, there's not really going to be too much going on while I'm doing it. So I guess I will see you guys in a little bit. So I was looking through JEI, looking for blocks to build the base out of and how to get them. And I got to the very last page and found this. A cobblestone generator from Tiny Progressions. Now this thing is so simple, it's not even funny. So it is just cobblestone, uh, glass, lava, and water. Now, I'm not sure if we have to use the quite clear glass. Now, that would be the only thing that I didn't notice. No, there we have clear glass. So I am willing to bet we can use any kind of glass that we want. So I'm going to take a piece of gravel here. I'm going to smash this one more time make a piece of glass real quick and I've got more lava being produced here because I'm still gonna want to be able to smash stuff every once in a while but you know I had said that I don't want to use extra utilities I had no idea this mod was in here so I am gonna set it up just so that you guys can see what it's like and then I would like to know do you think we should be using it but uh, yeah, that'll be up to you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this out. We get our cobblestone, our glass, and then our water and our lava. And there we go, cobblestone generator. So I don't know if we need to feed this thing anything. Doesn't look like we have 
Okay. So maybe we want to take this over and set it on top of the... Uh, hopper? That might be a thing. Let's see. Hmm. He used all my sticks. That's surprising. Oh, no, I didn't. They're down here. Yeah, <laughs> derp. Okay, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a pickaxe again, since I used the last one up. And hopefully this picks up okay. So we're going to set this down here on top of the hopper and see if it will produce anything here. So yeah, it does look like it's got cobblestone in there, or uh, lava, and there we go. It is producing cobblestone. So that is working exactly as it's supposed to, but like I said, I want to know what you guys think of me using that, because it kind of seems like that's breaking the rules. But we're not using extra utilities, I just didn't know that this one existed. So let me know what you think. We're going to use it for a little while. If you don't like it, we will go back to just the standard old-fashioned vanilla cobblestone generator. Not a big deal. I can always set up redstone later on. But so what we're going to do now, we're going to take a whole bunch of this cobblestone and we are going to compress it. So the compressed cobblestone will go a lot further in making stuff for us than regular cobblestone because now what we can do is make a whole gob of stone hammers so I'm not sure how many of these we need we need nine of them so there's two three four five six seven eight and nine okay so now we will go ahead and place these up here and we'll have ourselves a compressed stone hammer. Now the compressed stone hammer can smash compressed cobblestone. And at the same time it can com uh, smash compressed gravel, sand, and dust. So now we can do this and we get nine at a time instead of one at a time. Much better. And it looks like we have some potatoes, and some wheat, and some melons. Nice. So we are starting to get harvests on our food. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, we'll make another melon seed. I had another one here, and I accidentally broke it before it had grown up. And, yeah, that just makes it to where they don't produce anything seed wise or at least there's a chance that it won't but so now we can take this gravel if we want to and smash it down again into sand and this is tremendously faster and more durable than the regular stone hammers so we'll do this one more time with the sand and this is going to make the dust and now we are going to make a compressed sieve or it's not a compressed sieve what is that thing called a heavy sieve so this requires mesh as well but we need logs instead of planks to build it so let's go ahead and make that. We need two sticks. Two sticks, not four. And then logs. And there we go. There is the frame for the heavy sieve. We'll set this down... I guess, right there. Now we're going to need some string. And once again, let's go ahead and make ourselves a mesh. But we are also going to make another mesh, but we're not going to be doing that. So when I was trying to get some ores for the hopper, I got some flint. Well, this flint we can put with string, 
Oh, jeez. I am clicking wrong all over the place right now. To make a flint stiffened mesh. Now, I don't know if these are interchangeable. Can we? No, they're not. So, I'm going to have to make myself another of the regular sieves. So let's just go, oh, I am missing half slab. And we have one left. Perfect. So this one here is going to produce different items. No, 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 we want the flint stiffened one. So we're going to use dirt on this. And if we look at the uses on dirt, with a string mesh, we get these items. Well, with a flint stiffened mesh, we have a chance of getting some weird sapling. The majority of the same stuff there, but then we can get coffee seeds, flax seeds, canola seeds, beetroot, um, rice, and then stone, granite, diorite, and andesite. Now, the diorite and the andesite is what I am really wanting here because that is what I intend to be building the base out of. So, yeah, we already have <laughs> yeah, quite a bit of everything already. So I'm going to be doing that one, but also we have the heavy sieve here and we're going to compress down our dust and the speed at which we can sieve things now is just ridiculous. So that gave us a whole bunch of stuff. And we'll just be doing this instead of sieving it over here one at a time. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of sieving again. I'm going to have to be working on collecting dirt so that we can get more of... Uh, our stones and then I suppose I'll come back and we'll see how much I've collected and whether or not we're gonna be able to actually work with this stuff right now or what so I have started to automate the dirt production and I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not but we have hopper ducks and I have no idea what these things are capable of doing, so I'm going to make a few of them and just see what they do. Now, they just take planks and three iron ingots for four of them. So that's a pretty good deal. Oh, and this is the other thing. We have stone shears as well in this mod pack. Now, the stone shears take just some type of stone and... I don't think you can make it with cobblestone, but you can make it with smooth stone. So the smooth stone I've been cooking up in the furnace here. You can see I've replaced the entire island's base with smooth stone. I've actually bumped this area up where I'm growing the tree. That's the original dirt block right there. But uh, yeah, smooth stone has started to take over because we have our generation of materials now so what i want to see here is what these hopper ducks do so we're going to make one recipe and just see what happens here now i think all that these do is connect hoppers but i'm not entirely sure on that so i suppose what i'm going to do is break this i need an axe i'm going to break this barrel right here and then we're going to uh, try this out. So let's grab that barrel. Now what I want to do is see here, can I do this? No. So they are a single direction type thing and looks like they don't connect to an inventory either. Or is this guy? No. Okay. Okay, are we not moving items? Yeah, items are moving. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure on that. I suppose later on we might be able to figure something out with those hopper ducks. But, 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. At least it wasn't uh, much of a waste of material. So right here we have a little bit more iron. So that'll be enough to make two hoppers. That was my original thought. And so we'll make two more hoppers. And then, actually, I think we'll go ahead and make two more chests as well. Actually, we only need one more chest. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit more wood. Make another chest. Now what we can do is place this chest right next to this one. That will give us the connected inventory there. And we can put a hopper, not a hopper duct. Let's get those off of our hot bar. So then we need a hopper here. We're going to grab this. And then we're going to put another hopper here pointing into there. And now we can put our wooden barrels down. So now these guys will both be filling up with leaves and automatically making dirt. So I had one and it just does not keep up. So this hopefully will keep up quite a bit better. I am really hoping it'll burn through these leaves really, really fast. But eh, I guess it'll do what it does. Now, as far as our stone goes, we have a fair amount of the diorite, granite, and andesite already. But we're going to need dozens, if not hundreds, of stacks of this stuff. So, we're going to have to get some machines set up to do automatic pulverizing of cobblestone and automatic sieving of that, of the subsequent... Not, no, not cobblestone. Dirt. We need to be automatically sieving the dirt. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a look through the items in the mod pack and see what we have available to run these sieves, and then I will be back. So I've made a fairly large addition to the island over here, increasing the size of the tree farm. And also, I have found out that we do have Vein Miner in here. So if you press the button right next to the one that is above Q, and then break a block, it will break as many of them as it can reach or until your tool breaks. So that comes in really handy for mining things a lot faster. And yeah, just in general, I have been picking up tons and tons of resources. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mine the rest of this manually, and why not? We'll just waste that. Now another thing is that stone hammers can be used to smash logs, and it gives you uh, wood pulp, or wood chippings. Now this stuff can also be placed into the compost bins, to make dirt. So if we put this in here, it will slowly be filtered down into the uh, barrel and turned into dirt, which we have a large amount of dirt already. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. Now I have been looking for blocks that can automatically sieve items for us, and I think the best option for that is going to be the mechanical user from Extra Utilities 2. The problem with that is we need these resonating redstone crystals, which require redstone and ender shards. Now, ender shards come from ender pearls and a glass cutter. Well, a glass cutter is pretty simple. But the ender pearl, we need to get ourselves a mob farm set up. And the redstone, I think we can get this by sieving dust. Yeah, we have compressed dust, we'll get it. And we need an iron stiffened mesh in our regular sieve, which we don't have enough iron for that yet. So uh, we've got a little bit of stuff to do, but I think what I'm going to do right now is go off to the side here. I think I'm going to go this way. And we're going to build a small mob farm. It's not going to be anything extravagant, just something that's going to work. And uh, hopefully we can start getting some ender pearls and a whole bunch of other drops from that. 
Now another thing that you'll notice is I have taken down my farms because, well, quite, quite frankly, we have tons of silkworms. Now these silkworms give us only one hunger, but they do fill our saturation up almost all the way. So, yeah, that's really important when you're doing vein mining because uh, saturation will keep you from getting hungry. So I'm going to get that mob farm built, and then I will be back, and we'll see how the length of the episode is doing. And maybe we'll get to that mechanical user yet today, maybe not. So I have a simple dark room over here. This is nothing fancy, it's just a box made out of stone. And then I have a slit made out of half slabs here that I can use to hit the mobs through. So if I back up a little, they should be able to kind of see me a little. But uh, yeah, it definitely could use some work. Um, that's not what I had in mind. That just washed away everything out here. But uh, the basic idea is with a dark room we can get mobs to spawn. So that's what we're going to be working on and uh, hopefully we can gather up some of the resources that we need to be able to make that mechanical user. But I'm afraid that's probably going to have to wait for another episode because I think I'm out of time for today, so I'm going to have to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments about the series, go ahead and leave that down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.